Hello and good morning. Today I'm on the way to Vienna. Today is a very important event for consultants. Uh, it's held in a famous place in the Vienna Hofburg. This is a very imperialistic old building and very, very famous. Just go to Google and uh, fill in Hofburg Vienna. It's an incredible, incredible building. Um, but I don't drive to Vienna for, uh, to see the building. I drive to Vienna for the event. It is the annual congress for consultants, for Austrian consultants, with a lot of speakers and good opportunities for networking, to connecting with other peoples, other clients, other consultants and so on. So I think it will be a long day because in the evening it's a gala dinner, a special uh, dinner uh, with very famous uh, cooks and special special food. Yeah. So I'm happy that I have a card for this event and you will see it's, it is worth to drive to Vienna for this special event. In Vienna I mostly park in a park and ride parking garage in Hütteldorf. It is cheap and you have access to the public transport. I use the subway for the last kilometers to the center and then I walk the last few meters. You reach the Heldenplatz through the outer castle gate. Here you can see the Austrian National Historic Museum which was opened 130 years ago. And now you see the Vienna Hofburg. This incredible building was inhabited by the Habsburg from 1279 to the beginning of the World War I, 1918. The most famous Habsburg are certainly Franz Josef I, Emperor of Austria and his wife, Elizabeth of Austria and Hungaria, also known as Sissi. Now we are in the entrance hall of the Hofburg. This is the ballroom from the Hofburg. Now it's lunchtime, uh, almost over, but uh, you see here are a lot of people and I have heard here today are 1200 people for this event and yeah now after lunch I will go to the first um, seminar. Also I have forgotten I want to show you the pictures on the wall really really old and looks nice. These kind of buildings are so beautiful for me. Totally imperialistic. Now I show you some impressions from the many lectures and seminars. In the countless rooms there were many opportunities to find out news in digitalizations, consultings, business development, uh, political strategies for the future and so on. Ich bin auch 
The staircases also still exude the charm of the imperialistic time. The Hofburg, the Vienna Hofburg is so huge, so ungreifable, huge. The view from the window is also something special here in the Vienna Hofburg. This view from the window shows us the upper castle gate from the other side. Of course, the consultant day was also reported in many other medias. Wie Marketing für ein KMU in der Vergangenheit tatsächlich passiert ist. Und Marketing für KMUs in der Vergangenheit war... Vor 20 Jahren war es einfach jeder sucht im Telefonbuch oder in der lokalen Presse. Du bist im Telefonbuch oder du bist in der lokalen Presse. Ist sich seiner Verantwortung im Bereich Umwelt und Nachhaltigkeit sehr stark bewusst und vor allem bewusster denn je. So There were countless lectures on different topics on the different stages. Among other things, how marketing will change in the future and which functions the algorithms will take on, a very interesting lecture dealt with the question how good are the decisions of these algorithms? It was pointed out to the fact that the algorithms learn based on our data, our behavior. That means they also learn our prejudices and our bad habits. As an example, an algorithm for applicant selection at an elite research company was shown that preferred an applicant who had the same sport and brand preferences as his predecessor. Even through, there was a much more qualified applicant. Despite the doctorate and countless awards, the algorithms reject them as unsuitable. The reason is that the algorithms learn from the old decisions at this company. And they have never had a woman in this position. Now it is just before midnight, the event is over and I made my way back to my car. I went through the Christmas market between the historical museum and the museum quartier and the art museum. You can see a little bit of the Christmas market. It is closed 
it's sure it's closed because it's midnight. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and all the best for the next year. Bye.